Hello and welcome to another video of Scent Explorer. I'm Mohammed Hassan and today I have another perfume from the recent collection of Arij Nidor which is going to be Al Majmua. Al Majmua is actually a very old atar, uh, Indian atar or Eastern atar that has been used from, from many many generations. So this is uh, the sample I have. Let me show you Al Majmua. Let's, let's see what is sticking to this bottle. Anyhow, so let me show you. This is the box I got. I really love this box. This is Al Majmua from Arij Lidor. And let's spray this. And uh, we have one more video for this uh, testing of this Arij Lidor. Let's uh, spray this Al Majmua. Majmua means uh, a gathering of a lot of things. So it, it means that there are a lot of notes mixed into it. Let's first read the notes, okay? So let's see what has Majmua. Where is Majmua? Okay. So Majmua is modern Shipre version of one of the most famous and challenging Indian Atars, Al Majmua. Green, fresh, herbal aura and uses several iconic Indian ingredients such as Rukhas, vetiver, Keoda, Pandanus flower, Sandalwood and Patchouli. Um, for me personally, I don't like patchouli at all. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, herbal doctors over here. We call them Hakim, uh, the shop of Hakim, or the store where you get different herbs. So the smell from there is kind of spicy, a bit uh, wet. Uh, I, I don't like that. So um, let's see how this actually gets. Our, uh, to our nose, so let's spray Majmua, Al Majmua from Rij Lidor. Here we go, three sprays. <coughs> this is a very sharp floral or something in the start. Let's see what it was. Mm. Green fresh, yes, something green and very spiky. Yes, I think it's some floral. Top notes of bergamot and black currant. Maybe bergamot, but I didn't like the start at all. It it is giving me a headache like kind of feeling. Let's try to dry it down. Still, there is a floral that is very high pitched for me. Uh, it is just banging in my head. Sandalwood is there. I think it also says Iris Accord, Oak Moss and Siddhar Wood. I don't like Oak Moss also and also Iris. So most of the things I don't like are inside this other, uh, this perfume. Now it is getting a bit powdery due to Iris I think. So it is floral, a bit powdery, a bit Sandalwood in the background very green and fresh in the start but now it is more of a powdery kind of um, floral so for me it is very very um, I would say a, a little bit of headache for me but if you like florals uh, and you like pitched uh, kind of high pitched florals this is for you so I, I, do, I am not getting any sandalwood or maybe vetiver over here, much vetiver. Um, right now I am getting more florals. Yes, there is an eastern touch now. Now it is getting herbal, floral, herbal and kind of uh, sandalwood in the background. But the start was really, really, I would say, very high pitched for my head. I'm not amazed by this one. This is a kind of, uh, I would say, others I have smelled many times. Maybe on the skin it might smell a bit different, but right now, um, 
this is the one I didn't like. Al Majmua, if you like kind of herbal, floral, high pitched floral um, kind of atars, and then this is going to be for you. I would say this is more kind of feminine scent to me. I personally don't like very floral perfumes, even on my wife. Uh, I would like to have something. Uh, more sparkling and something like that but not overpowering flowers they get into my head and I start getting headache so this is uh, this was which, which Al Majmua this is Al Majmua now it is getting a bit earthy kind of feeling to it herbal earthy um, high pitch floral and uh, I think earthy is maybe it is getting some more of the patchouli and sandalwood so this is my review about Al Majmua from Arij Lidor. I didn't like it or I didn't enjoy it much. Uh, if you like these kind of perfumes where we have high pitch florals and um, green, fresh, floral, uh, earthy kind of vibe, then this is for you. For me, I, I think this is not my style or uh, the perfumes I like. So that is all my review about Al Majmua from Arij Lidor. If you like these perfumes, this is a personal opinion. So if maybe something I hate could be something you love. So everyone is different. Every nose is different. Every uh, person is different. Some people, they really enjoy high pitch florals. I really dislike them. I cannot even bear. I cannot come close to that person. So uh, this is how it is. So let's move on to the next video where we will discuss one more last uh, perfume from Arij Lidor uh, and explore some more stuff. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Make sure you like, subscribe and share this video.